Hello, wonderful persons. This is Coin Group Minnesota and host Brian, Man on Silver Mountain. The purpose of this video is to show you my silver bullion collection that I have to date thus far. So stick with me and I'm going to show you. There's a lot more than just this. Check it out. Hey everybody welcome back wow i mean i got tons of stuff so when i do my auctions i like to buy a variety of things but i also like to keep at least one or two examples of each design that i collect and sell so um obviously you know trump's number one here we got that's a pretty cool design i wish i had some of the other ones i'm gonna have to find them in a different way um, other than the current new ones. Love the Trump rounds. Sweet. Um, this I got on LCS just recently. Uh, I haven't seen one of these in a long time. But love to have it. There's no date on them. I think these will go back to like mid 90's. I've seen these before. Um, I do have several of these. As you can see I do have another one right there in the roll. Nice generic rounds and I think they did a very very good job for, with these. Um, love them a lot. I really, really do. Um, don't tread on me. That's a coin I love. And I do have a big scratch on it, but that's why I kept it. Because I didn't want to sell something like that. But it's a design thing. It's pretty cool. I can always get some more. Okay. Um, got a 2020. This is my last 2020. This one's got a lot of scratches on the face. Didn't want to sell this one. But I uh, wanted to keep the ones that are damaged. I don't want to sell them. So that's just for silver content. Strictly that's it. But cool. It's nice to have at least one example of a 2020. Actually, I do have another. Oh, well, this is a 2016. But same design. Everything's all the same. Oh, this is the uh, Superman one. Yes. <laughs> that's why I got this one. Because uh, my last name's Super. Gotta have a Superman. Yeah, so that was pretty cool to have. Um, this is a generic round. I used to have a guy that uh, I used to work for. He had boxes of these things and left them in his Hummer. But uh, trust me, I didn't steal them. This I got at the coin shop. And it just reminded me of those uh, unmarked uh, Troy ounce uh, silver bullion rounds that the guy had. So, um, got a couple American Eagles. 2014 I got I got more than just that so you got a couple 2014s I do have a couple other years but these are just call ones um these are all call I got these for spot I think I got 17 bucks on all these coins because of the spots on them don't really care I just want the silver baby but 1997 kookaburros these are hard to find I can't even get kookaburros for under 20 bucks it's impossible um first year is 1990 so this is 92 this is my oldest one as you can see, the little uh, impurities, little uh, carbon spots going on. I don't care. I got it super cheap. You know, silver's going up. I'm in the green. Love it all. Boom. There's another one. I just love them. Um, actually, these are these weigh a little bit more than uh, the 31.1 grams. Check this out. Got my scale. Check this out. This is why I like kookaburros. 31.6. You see that? 31.6. Let's do another one. 31.3. You see what I'm saying? Every single one weighs a little bit more than a Troy ounce. 31.5. Take it from your man on Silver Mountain. If you want to get the best deal, if you can get your kookaburras for spot, you are so in the green. And over here, I got this from uh, my man, Silver Seeker. I had to have something from him. Um, yes, I, I do pay a little more because I'm a big fan. Love it. So I don't have one of these. And I thought it was cool. Had to have it. Aloha from Hawaii. And I got a couple uh, little bars. Uh, never bought bars before until recently. And uh, it's got the Silver Dragons logo on there i mean it's pretty similar i like it a lot so take that 1.2 troy ounce you got a two troy ounce 
it's just a flat bar pretty cool and uh remember coin man 5000 i still like them i still like them a lot got that so i have no idea. i think this is two ounces i'm pretty sure it's about two ounces now we're going to move on to what i have here leftovers from auctions okay i love these um this is a germanium i buy these because they're pretty rare and as a matter of fact back i knew that months ago when i purchased these and i got them cheap there is actually a pretty good premium for these now just because of the low mintage on them and I really, really adore the Germania. So that one's the easier one to get. <laughs> okay, we got the Allegories one right here. Um, that one's a little tougher to get now. But at the time, I could easily uh, obtain one of those. The Guardian one is the one I really want. But I don't want to pay double uh, silver spot for it. And uh, this is a panda, and you got to be aware of getting fake ones. I did get this from uh, JM Bullion, and they got some really good stuff. I don't have to worry about authenticity with that person. And got it as a collector. I had a few of them, sold some of them, and uh, kept this one for myself. So I love it a lot. Um, this is my last Libertad that I got early last uh, early of this year 2018 just can't find any anymore um these are going for probably around 40 bucks now but yeah i paid i think 31 for this which yeah i don't like paying over spot that much but yeah i paid 31 bucks for this coin in a while ago but there just isn't any of them around this is one of those elusive silver bullion rounds out there I do have some more on the way. Okay. I want you guys to know, I want you guys to let me know what your favorite coin is out of this in the comments below. I do have Falk Islands. Okay, see that right there? I like this one. I only bought one of these just because uh, for the collector uh, spectrum of that, uh, I just want to keep it. But it's unique. I don't see many of these. Um, I think they sold out right when I bought them. Um, and this one's really neat. Two pounds. I think this is a... Oh, yeah. This is a Britannia. Love the 2020 Britannias. I have a few of these. Um, I thought these would be pretty rare. But you can still get them for... Yeah. Low, mid-20s. Somewhere in that range. You know what I'm saying? Um, I bought them just because, you know, you never know which type is going to be discontinued or has a low uh, production run and we got another brand new 2020 trump um yes I, I do have two of them as of now uh what do we got that is not bullion so that's not part of this shell here um here's 1999 bullion ame take that or acm amm yeah oh geez i have three trumps Dang! Well, I have to have at least one. And here's another 2020 with a kangaroo. Okay. I think this is my only kangaroo I've got left. This is from Australia, from the Perth Mint. And 2016, I get what I can. You know how it is. Uh, if it's a good price, buy it. I don't care what year it is. What else do we have? We are moving on. And another. So this is probably my third or fourth generic round that I have left of these I do have some more on the way and this is my personal uh, Queen's Beast 2020 which I believe some of the websites and they have been out of stock for quite some time so this is a good one to have I believe there's a fairly low mintage on a coin like this it's nice to have wow two ounces of silver look at that chunky guy Oh, that's a nice one. All right. More with Queen Elizabeth. What do we have here? And, yes, the Year of the Dog. I love this one. I had two or three of these. Had to keep at least one. Great design. Love that design. Holy cows. Amazing. Um, And then we got ourselves a one and a quarter ounce uh, Canadian Argent. 2016. 
Got the Buffalo on the reverse and Lady uh, Elizabeth the Queen on the front. Nice. All right. Oh yeah. These are these are some I got from Korea, and they're not for sale. I can get some copies, but these are so hard to find. When you find them in stock, they want a lot for them, and it seems like when you get them, you want to order more. They're gone. They're out of, they're out of stock already. It's insane. But they're gorgeous. Look at that, uh, the matte finish with the uh, deep cameo look. It's exquisite. Can't sell them because my only examples. Got to have my examples. One clay. And look at that Taekwondo guy. Dude. Rock on. Just, these are one of my favorite pieces. Um, I cherish them a lot. They're amazing. We've got a few more left here. And ooh, yeah, Fiji Islands. Got the turtle, turtle, turtle. Fiji Islands. That's very cool. It's a little thinner, but I think it's a little wider. It's not going to fit in my rolls of coins here like this. Maybe it will. No, I think it's a little bigger. See, it's going to be too tight, too tight to fit in that roll. So it's a, it's an odd size. As you can see, the rim's thinner here. Um, pretty cool coin. I had to have it. And what we got here? Another. So we got five of these. Whoo! And ooh, can't forget the old Cougaran. Love these. Had to have at least one of these examples for myself. Kind of forget how many I have, but now I'm down to one left for sure. Don't want to let this out of my clutches. So, and we got a 2020. This is my only 2020 uh, American Silver Eagle. But you think they're gonna be rare? No. Um, I think I paid 21 bucks for this thing, and the price just keeps climbing on these things. But uh, they're you know they're pumping out a lot. There's there's not a low mintage of these whatsoever. Um, you can easily obtain these coins. And I have one more here. Let's see what it is. Ah uh, yes, a beautiful Britannia. Just love them, man. So that's three. 2020 Britannias that I have in my personal collection and I am new to the silver bullion collection and I think I've been doing pretty good for starting you know not too bad that's a lot of uh, a lot of prospects out there um, I buy them for their beauty I buy them for possible it's third they're tough to get um, and you know I like deep cameos with a with a matte finish Nice contrast, very nice contrast. Um, silver has a really fantastic way of picking up the light when they have different finishes on their dies and it just looks exquisite, beautiful, like especially these and these. They do, a, I mean the Korean mint does a fantastic job with the matte finish and deep cameo. Just the contrast is so striking and gorgeous oh, I just can't let it go but there you go that's my silver bullion collection hope you guys like it please like share and subscribe don't forget the bell thingy it's missing awesome CGM action catch you guys on the flip side and thank you for joining me today